Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fanciers. So in this video, we take an in-depth look on at this Oxygen OS 11 port Android 11 running on this MAA2 Jasmine Sprouts. I have been using this for a week as my daily driver and here are my thoughts. First we'll start with the build details. This is the Oxygen OS Android 11 based ported from OnePlus 80 with the December 2021 security patch update ported for MAA2 Jasmine Sprouts by Alok Raj. The boot animation is the logo of OnePlus. It just red rounds and fills into a white square. Nothing to complain about it. I liked it a lot. In terms of features, we have a dedicated customization menu in settings. Oxygen OS has all the necessary features like a network monitor indicator, display calibration, and themes. In this port, we have some exclusive Oxygen OS features uh, like it has a live wallpaper, fanatic mode, zen mode, work life balance, and the list goes on. I feel all those are great in my opinion. You have a parallel apps feature, app locker and scheduled power on and off. All these features in the form of stock Android. Oxygen OS is still great. But the question is how do these all work on our devices? Well, we'll see that in few minutes. Battery backup wise, it is not that good. The screen on time is like two and a half hours to three hours and a few minutes, which I feel low when compared to other custom roams or stock android i have to charge two to three times a day i was coming from me note 11 which is like seven to nine hours of screen on time so this affected me a lot and was one of the main reasons to switch to another roam also an ideal night for seven to nine hours drains like four to ten percentage of battery when it comes to charging it only took 18 minutes to charge 40% of the battery, it is like charging from 21% to 61%. So if you calculate it to 0 to 100, it will be like 45 minutes. But it is not entirely like that. When it reaches certain level like 80 to 90%, it slows down the charging, which adds some few more minutes. I hope that answers all your questions about charging and battery backup. This build comes with unencrypted storage, so installing switching from this is an AC task. But I still recommend taking a backup of your internal storage. This ROM passed safety net by default. You can use banking and payment apps with no worry. The fingerprint works fine and it also has face unlock which works great. Performance wise it is normal and there is no significant change or something. I ran the Geekbench score and the score is something like three, nearly three, 300 as like other custom ROMs and ports. I played Jensen Impact in normal graphics for few minutes and it was fine. But the problem is glitches. Sometimes the screen crashes and stays for few minutes. Sometimes it comes back and sometimes it force stops the app or entirely does the reboot. App switching and multitasking also average. Few times it did close the payment portal. But at the same time, it's just getting better day by day. First two days the ROM was sluggish and lagging a lot. But now it is not that frequently happening. In terms of camera, we have Google Camera Go and OnePlus Camera. Both have their cons. Google Camera Go is a bit stable, but the picture taken was a bit fog and smoky. Not that sharp. OnePlus Camera takes good photos, but it doesn't store some time or it will crash. However, Camera 2 API is enabled by default, so you can try your Gcam or better go with the open camera. Now we talk about demerits. 1. Sudden glitches. I definitely faced one or two glitches here and there, especially when switching between apps. Sometimes when browsing Chrome, it just hangs for 10 to 20 seconds. 
Second, ADB debugging. I noticed that you need to always keep the USB debugging turned on in order to use the data transfer, USB tethering and all other USB cable functionalities. When you turn it off, the transfer option won't even show when you connect the USB cable. Sometimes you won't receive the WhatsApp messages or WhatsApp call when it is being kept idle for some time or however when you open that particular app all the messages and missed calls will show up fourth battery backup as i mentioned it's not that great five quick pay quick pay option in utility it's not working i tried multiple times it's not working so the conclusion is first it is stable also at the same time it feels like unstable you can use it as daily driver but there will be some hiccups in the initial days after that you will get used to it it has some great features like zen mode work life balance and the list goes on so it is worth giving it a try if you are frequently changing the roms so if you have any queries and concerns feel free to mention in the in the comment section right after this video i will be moving to some other roms so we will find the better one soon thank you for watching for more